welcome back to this morning. Now, the nights are drawing in, so over the next few weeks, we're going to be showing you how to make the nation's favourite soup, an item that I'm really, really invested in, we've just discovered. I know. Well, I... they see you through the colder months, don't they? There's this sort of labour of love that goes into making that, soup. You know, that's, I think you've hit on it mm. there. It's the process of making mm. it. You're in the kitchen, everyone's coming in and out, and you, you do it to your own tastes yeah. as well, and you just play with it. It's a shame we don't have a chef who can make soup in the building. We would... <laughs> <laughs> we would great to find one, wouldn't yeah, it? Let us tell you a couple of things about <laughs> soup. I'll go get him. <laughs> <laughs> so we're Sorry. starting with like the boss yes. of all soups so, today, aren't yeah, we? Just show you again. Here it is. So what I tried to do oh. was, as a child, um, the three things that stick in my mind were tomato soup, chicken soup, and also my mother did a risotto, Ooh. which was freeze-dried vegetables and meat in a packet, and you could still buy it. And I actually made a film for this morning. We went to Italy to, uh, made risotto. Anyway, to cut a long story short. The flavour profiles and the actual flavour and the texture is what, what did it for me. I can vividly remember it now, so I'll try to replicate that. Now, it does take a few ingredients, and we are actually making a dumpling to go in. Please try oh, yours. Can we, can we can just, we? yeah, because it's in front so, of us. So, yeah, so we're going to make a dumpling to go in. But the base is very simple. I'll start here. So it, here I've got chicken thighs, which have got the bone uh, in mm. but no skin. Oh, my word. OK, oh, my in that word. goes. <laughs> then we add to that leeks. It's a very simple process. Leeks, onions... In they go as well, pour those in like that. I'm going dumpling. And then so what, you, what I do add is mushrooms. Now, mushrooms, what they do is they bring out that savoury umami flavour of chicken. So good. OK, so, so it's a background flavour, a bit like miso. So I put lots of mushrooms into there. And then I use two crumbly stock cubes. Do you have to add mushrooms? Because I love mushrooms, but I know, like, my husband doesn't. Like, they're quite a marmite. Aren't they? They are. Now, is it because he doesn't like the texture or is it the flavour? I don't know, but it really irritates me. Because I love them and <laughs> I want to put them in the bolognese, I no. want to put them everywhere, but he doesn't like Rosh, it. Rosh, here you go then. So if you put them in here, don't tell him, because mm. the time you liquidise it, he'll never know. He will. Okay. No, he but he doesn't. I bet he finds them. <laughs> he's, he's I bet guy. he doesn't, because yeah. all you taste is chicken. Yeah, mm. My kids are like mm. mushroom detectives. It, take, you wouldn't know they were in there, would you? No, I don't, but I'm just, I just thought that's because I like them, but Mark, you're right. Don't tell him. Get be, over it, man. Be warned, these dumplings are nuclear. I've just burned them out of my side. They're really good. They're really good. <laughs> so, then we add water to this. So, again, just let, let down the, the stock cubes, obviously. Now, what I do at this point, I don't put cream in necessarily. At the end, I might put a little bit if you want that, but you don't have to. I use milk. Okay. Milk, milk goes at this point as well. And milk will soften the chicken as well. And then salt and pepper into there. Not too much salt because you've got your stock cube. Simmer it. As simple as that, OK? Simmer it down for about 50 to 20 minutes until the chicken falls off the bone. Bear in mind, you've got the, the bones in as well to give it more flavour. It's so delicious. And then end up, what I've done here is taken the, the, um, the thighs out, taken out the bones and chopped up, or taken the chicken out, and that's what you end up with. Now, you can eat, eat it like this if you want. I love this broth. Yeah, part. if you like the yeah, texture. Yeah, chunky. Mm -hmm. Or you could liquidise it or pass it through uh, one of these um, uh, food processors. It's up to you. And then what you do then is, if you want to puree it, that's fine. End up like this one here. At this stage, what I do is that the chicken that we've taken off goes back in. OK, so you've got your lumps of chicken into there. OK. Let's warm that through. And, and then the dumplings. So that's essentially it. Now, what you need to at this point is just season that, check the seasoning. You may need more milk, you may need more water, if it's cooked down a bit too far, and you may need a bit of salt and pepper. The only addition I'm making is the dumplings. To go into them, but they're they're worth it. Yeah, okay. yeah. They're, they're like a good addition. It's so delicious. <laughs> I mean, your food's always good. You had the odd duff one, but like. <laughs> much... <laughs> It's usually brilliant. Not to my film. You don't know what? Do you give and take away at the same time. Uh, there you go. <laughs> um, it, it's so good. Right. It, it's, it's just so good. But here the, so here's the dumplings. Now, I do these and, and perhaps sometimes saute them or put them into a broth. Mm -hmm. The base stays the same. Here it is. This is chicken thigh mince. In it goes, OK? Oh, so there's chicken in that dumpling. Onions. Oh, ginger. Really? You get a lot of ginger. Now, the ginger gives that lovely kick to it, mm. but also it, it brings out the flavour of the mushrooms, also the chicken, chopped parsley, garlic. I think I'm wearing some of the soup. <laughs> <laughs> it was, and, it was good. Oh, good wasn't it? <laughs> and to bring that all together, I've got one egg white. Half an egg white, it goes into there. Now, if you add salt at this point to that egg white, mm -hmm. it tightens that protein up, OK? So as it works with the albumin, it stiffens up and it brings the whole thing together. Okay. So what do you do? A touch of oil, that gives it a nice, soft texture. Not a lot. Same with fish the cakes. The texture is perfect. Yeah. So if you make fish cakes, invariably they're quite dry. If you make the mix using cooked fish, always add olive oil to the mixture and okay. they'll never be dry. Okay. It's a really good tip. Right. Blitz this up. You okay. get this little treat of a little lump of chicken now and oh, again. Yes. It's really good. Yes. Mm. Yeah. That's all part of it. Mm. So there you go. Make it up. And then all I've done here 
I'll just I'll bring it up here and show you these. I've moulded these into little tiny pâtés or balls. Now, a little bit of a tip here. To get the mouthfeel of that finished soup, you have to add a little bit of corn flour or flour and butter, it's up to you. And that gives a softness to the whole thing. Now, if you're gonna use corn flour or arrowroot, be very careful, because it will thicken the soup. Right. So when that comes out of there, I literally mould these into little tiny balls like that. And you wanna drop them into that soup, like that. And then... And just leave it Leave it, and, like and then simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. Right. They'll cook through mm -hmm. in, in no yeah, time. Because that's the all. nervy thing, isn't it, when you mince up chicken? Is it going to be cooked? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just cook. Ten minutes just is enough. Ten minutes. Yeah. And actually, I mean, a lot of people have probes now. I use a probe all the time for checking, checking the temperature. Yeah, they're cooking. good, actually, aren't they? As long as above 75 degrees, it's absolutely fine. But that's simmering, remember. So, once that's simmered to 10 to 15 minutes, you end up with this little beauty here. Let me just show you that. So, as I said to you, the flour and... I just wish everybody could instantly taste yeah. this. <laughs> Like yeah. if I could just spin, spoon through the <laughs> yeah. jelly, yeah. you know. It, it is, and it is, it is difficult. Oh. But you see, that corn flour just brings those bits together. So when you've got things okay. like um, mushrooms, which tend to break down as mm -hmm. well, that just brings that back. So because it's so smooth. Yeah, yeah. It really. Mm -hmm. is. So three dumplings each. That's all you need. Poach them in there. Could have had five. I'll be honest. Yeah. Do another. Yeah. <laughs> Do another. In that it goes. So you are actually sort of just layering flavours, and then if you really want to go the whole hog. Add a bit of cream. I don't particularly like too much cream on it. I'll just put a bit of chopped parsley. It doesn't need it. It's perfect. No. It doesn't you don't need, need the bread either. No. The dumplings no. are oh, good. Work. Good. You've got to get that into there. Dunk, what I'll do is I'll just yeah. break this in half and I can just show the camera. You'll see that is what, mm. that is what we are. That's where we are. They're really light filled, which I really like I about it. Fluffy. Yeah. Nice and light mm. fluffy. However, if you don't want to do it, cross the bread, you can always buy this. This is my version. <laughs> 59 pounds a tin, all good retailers. <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> there you it's go. It's, it's, worth, it's, it's worth the spend. I'm not joking. I would buy that. <laughs> that it, it, joke, it, it is that good. It really is that good. But it's good. about texture, flavour, yeah. and yeah. now feel at the end. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's really good. good. Do you know what I'm ready for now? What's that? A duvet day. Yes. A big bowl of this. What does that mean, duvet, duvet day? day? What does it mean? Get on the sofa, get your duvet down from down. Or do upstairs. nothing. Yeah. Do absolutely All day on nothing. The sofa. Just do you do that? Wow. No. <laughs> I mean, it's quite, quite hard now. It's quite hard now with three kids. But you know what I mean? A real oh, yeah. cozy oh, day. Do that, Watch a film yeah. and have a bowl of this. Oh, I'll do that. There you go. Definitely. I'll You're tell you welcome. what, Phil, shorter, I'll bring over some soup. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. I'll bring Are over you some soup. Um, I mean, you should definitely make it. For details uh, of the recipes from all of our chefs, head to our free this morning app.